Hi there, fellow thrift shoppers and bin shoppers, uh, aficionados of all that is about the bargain hunt. <laughs> um, this is my, I think, 38th video uh, talking about the bins and uh, showing you all the stuff that um, that I get when I go there and, and some of the amazing bargains. Um, I just spent a week in Spokane and um, I, I posted a video of some of the things from their bins, but right before I went over there, um, I had gotten this amazing haul from the Seattle um, store. So I'm gonna start my, my video here and uh, show you these amazing things. I don't even know where to start. It's so awesome. So, as I recall, it was like 50-ish dollars. I seem to run into that price range a lot. And I was sort of surprised because um, I did get a couple of heavier items. Um, we know how heavy hunter boots are, right? But these are in great shape. The uh, There's no... Um, uh, wear to the heels and the bottoms like sometimes there are. Um, they're this really pretty shiny black and, and I can probably even shine them up a little bit better but super shape. So that was one thing and yes there are two of them. <laughs> you know at the bins you always have to hunt for the other shoe. <laughs> and it would be easy to go in there and just buy one of them. <laughs> but here they are. <laughs> the second thing that I got that is really pretty heavy are these um, Boggs moccasins. And I got these primarily for me um, just because I've been wearing um, a pair of black Crocs for all winter long that I got at Costco and I'm the person that said that she would never ever wear Crocs so <laughs> I, I thought I would upgrade my style <laughs> these are pretty amazing um, from uh, the research that I did the bogs cost about a hundred dollars for this style and it's called the mock <laughs> And another pair of shoes. These obviously weren't very heavy. But um, these are an awesome Italian brand. And they're called M. Gemi. Gemi? Gemi? Uh, I don't know. I'll show you. There we go. And um, these are called the Fortuna. Flat. And they're in black suede. And um, they're just beautiful. They're just well-made um, Italian black pointy-toed flats that will come in handy for anything. Um, going to run a little bit of Sharpie on the toe. I'm going to tell you all my tricks. <laughs> and anyway, the retail value for that particular shoe is $198. Score. So, speaking of $198, um, or, well, way more than $198, um, I also got a coat that is made in Italy, and um, I, uh, I don't have it here at home to show it to you, but it's gorgeous black cashmere wool blend, hip length, um, single button front with a rabbit collar, um, black, did I say that? Anyway, it's made in Italy, and the style of it was the um, Sinja, Sinja Roca is the brand. So if you uh, Googled that brand, um, you'll see what those price points run <laughs> in the thousands of dollars. Um, the coat was probably um, about $1,250. And it's in excellent condition. And you can buy um, um, a used one at one of the, um, the pre-owned sites for a mere $750. <laughs> anyway, the coat fits me beautifully. And uh, it was really a, a great find. I don't know why it wasn't picked up. but um, So, 
let's get, get on with the rest of this stuff. Um, this is a piece that I did pick up in Spokane and um, I need to depill it but it is a cashmere and angora blend and I grabbed it of course because it was sparkly. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And I thought well you know what I'm just gonna get it be just because I like it. <laughs> Thinking, of course, it is not going to fit me because these these kinds of things usually don't, um, you know, vintage pieces. But check it out. It's a fit. Isn't this cool? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. So, on with the show. <laughs> this is from Rag and Bone, and it's a men's t-shirt. See what it says? Never mind. <laughs> the retail on it, it was about a um, hundred dollars new, I think. Oh, I beg your pardon. $71. A mere $71. <laughs> now this is an awesome piece. This is from uh, C-O-S, which I think that's how you pronounce it. And the only place I ever see this stuff is online. There we go. Um, I know it's an online store. And so, um, but this is an organic cotton. And see this, it's called a cutout sweater. And it's in excellent condition. And I'm pretty sure that it ha still had a fashion focus tag on it. And so it did not sell at the Goodwill store for $29. <laughs> so it got sold to me for about a dollar. <laughs> Yay! This is awesome. I was just really stoked to get this. Um, this is kind of neither here nor there, but I always like things that are lace, especially white lace, ivory lace, lace of any kind. This is just from Loft, and um, I'm trying to do up the back button, let's see if it will humor me. There we go. It has a kind of a flirty sleeve there. And I just like to wear these pieces with um, destroyed denim. And nothing wrong with it. So probably didn't cost very much, but that's all right. Now, this is a piece I just love. It's um, a racer back dress from Athleta. And I'm not really even going to try and show you too much of it because it's just going to look like a big black blob. But it has this um, terrific ruching. Hello, 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 hello. Nope, it's not going to work. So anyway, it's got ruching up the side. And it is a uh, um, figure hugging. And so, and I would actually wear it, but because um, uh, it really is very flattering, even for people like me that aren't all that convinced they should be running around in skin tight dresses. <laughs> this, is so, this is a top from Diane von Furstenberg. It's a size small and it has kind of a pinwheel lace and it's lined and the retail on this was $348 when it was new. And I will list this on eBay it's a snug fit for me. This is uh, has no name. It's a size medium, but I grabbed it because I like the color, I like the dye, and I like the fabrication. It's um, it's like a come along spandex something or other with kind of a tie dye. 
and I don't know if it came this way or if somebody did it, but I like it. Rayon and spandex. So it's that real stretchy, drapey t-shirt fabrication and neat color. Kind of my favorite terracotta right now. This is um, from the newer Free People line, which is a Free People Movement. And it's just a thin ribbed knit piece with raw edge seams. Super cute. I don't recall. I do have the price point on it here somewhere, but I'm not going to go looking for it. It wasn't very expensive. And another free people. This is We the Free. And it's just an oversized white tee. I'm going to have the biggest collection of white t-shirts. I tell you. That's where this, this is a Ben's t-shirt. This is from my Spokane trip. <laughs> uh, all right. Now, these next ones is, are a pair of jeans, and the brand is uh, Topshop, and I think it's the mom jeans. Let's see here. Love these. $76 retail. And, um, oh, I beg your pardon, they're American Eagle. Relaxed mom jean. <laughs> Right now, I kind of don't care, um, you know, where I get my my relaxed mom jeans that are 100% cotton because as long as they fit well, they're just a good way to go, you know. Anyway, these are size 8 and they are a high-waisted fit and they do come really up to my higher waist and like them a lot. And I'm guessing that the price on them was still about the same price as the Topshop ones. They're kind of comps. Um, this is from, I believe it was Jessica Simpson. A little lace eyelet camisole. And what I like about this is it um, comes up. Well, I flubbed that up. I have to watch out that I don't hit my keyboard while I'm flouncing around with this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not quite sure where it cut off, but anyway, this is a pretty cute little cami. And you know, it looked really good with the high-rise American Eagle jeans. You know, it'd be cute with um with an oversized ivory blazer that I got at H&M last summer. <laughs> this is, I almost left this behind because I thought it was, um, uh, polyester uh, but I did see that it was silk and um, I saw all kinds of possibilities for this so let me show you how giant it is <laughs> huge huh I just thought you know it'd be so cute you could wear it as a as a skirt you know as a pareo this. What I did yesterday was I just did it around the front of me like this and tied it. Let's see if I can grab both ends here. And tied it. See, this is what's so cool about it being so big and so lightweight because it's not at all chunky. It doesn't take up any room. And, uh, you know, if you can ignore the fact that my t-shirt's under it. <laughs> so super cute. I have no idea um, what the brand is. Um, but it's flawless, beautiful. I don't have a comp for it either. But just a good thing to have. Be a good thing to take on vacation, right? Vacation. What's vacation? You know, I just came back from vacation and I'm ready for another one. Been a rough week. 
had a, had family problems. Um, I shouldn't say problems. We had a, a sadness in our family. So um, this is, I think, a men's shirt. This is from J. Crew, but I think it'll be fun to wear with shorts this summer. I have um, some J. Crew navy blue short shorts that I think that this will just look really cute with. So with the uh, the oversized fit offsetting the shortness of the shorts is the thought process there. <laughs> this is a top from Alberto Macaulay and it ran about $150 new and we'll get a um, needs to be uh, ironed because it seems like it got washed and maybe dried, which would have been a no-no for this. But I don't know if you can see the embroidery here. Anyway, I rather like it and we'll see if we can't get it restored back to its actual size. Okay. This is my third pair of these funny, um, <laughs> of these funny <laughs> pants. There you go. You can see them. They're leggings. This particular pair is by Charlotte Roos. And they have this, uh, I don't know where to how to, how to set this. You saw what I just did with the light, light here. I knocked everything over. There we go. They have a ruched back, so it gives you kind of a little bit of curviness there. And I just like these for running around in. They're um, inexpensive but flattering leggings. Um, and so I don't need to like worry about messing up my Lululemons for whatever reason. I have a couple of these shirts and these are inexpensive as heck, even if you buy them new at um, Nordstrom Rack. It's just a cotton uh, tee from BP. And I think you can get them online for like $8 right now, but I love these. They fit right in with my white cotton t-shirt aesthetic, as you can see. <laughs> um, I have a couple of things that were just awesome as heck to get. I can't wait to show you. Um, this is from Zara. And I guess I needed to have a, a blue grayish green t-shirt to go with, um, <laughs> to add to my collection. <laughs> and whenever I find PJ bottoms at the bins, I pick them up. I have never felt bad about it. <laughs> These are cute doggies. And I love nice oversized PJs. And I wear them around COVID style. <laughs> I don't leave the house in them. <laughs> This is um, the We the Free, Free People, Moonrise Waffle Knit Shirt. You see that? I think this is pretty awesome. Again, it's another piece that, um, that I'm going to iron it and see if it kind of... I'd like it to be a little bit longer. It's got one of those swingy hemlines that I'm not so crazy about. Um, but we'll see what it does when I mess with it a bit. Um, the uh, price point on this is unknown, but it runs between $30 and $60 um, pre-owned on the, on the uh, pre-owned sites. Um, this is an older piece. Um, the brand is Via Cita, and they do uh, or did a lot of um, silk pieces back in the day. 
and um, this was also one of the black tag items that they had priced at $24 that didn't sell. So it's a couple of layers of ivory silk. And it's beautiful. It's right up my alley, the kind of stuff I like. So that was a find. Um, this is another um, fashion focus piece that didn't sell. They wanted $20 for it. <laughs> this is what happens, folks, when you get too greedy. Goodwill people. <laughs> anyway, I really, really like this. And it's super cute on. And it has this ruched drawstring sleeve. And a wide neckline that is, again, very flattering. I like the sanctuary stuff. I think it's really good looking on. And, you know, they always do kind of a, a twist on a classic piece. So, all right. This is a pair of page jeans, and they're a high-rise fit. And the, the style is, I think, Jacqueline. Yeah, Jacqueline Straight. And they don't have really crazy fading or anything. What they do have is a blown out knee right here. And um, it's just blown, ripped out on the seam. So I'm just going to sew it back up. And they will be good to go. Pretty awesome, aren't they? I haven't been buying much of the page denim. I find lately, I don't know who their fit model is. Well, these are 28s though. Um, that sometimes they just don't fit the way I expect them to fit. And so I can wear, because weirdly, I can wear the, these 28s, 29s, and 30s in page. And, and I really couldn't tell you that there's much of a difference in how they fit. <laughs> so, but, we all know the price point on page. These were a really good find and I just wish they were my size, dang it. Obviously they're not. You see what these are? They're um, Eileen Fisher and they're a Ponte knit back with 100% real leather front. And the retail on these started at something like $300. They were pretty pricey. Um, I'm going to hang on to these and I will probably sell them uh, next fall. Um, because I think things are get moving towards spring. And I don't know how much of a, um, a call there is right now for leather pants. So that's where they'll go. And then the last thing I got, and I don't know that the people at Goodwill knew what they had. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm going to have to look up what, what I discovered the price point was. These are um, jeans from D Squared. They're an Italian brand. And they're a uh, men's jean. And I'm not really sure what the wash is, but they're called the Slim Jean. Hi. <laughs> and they are factory distressed like this. And the last time I had a pair of D squared jeans, I sold them for, I don't know, $300. Um, it's because the retail for these jeans is somewhere in the $700 price point. So, pretty happy to find it. And these are cute. They're not a, really a skinny jean. They're a slim jean, and they have a button fly. And um, I'm not really sure what size they are, but they actually fit me, and they don't look bad. So, we'll see. I'll probably sell them some, so, some guy that knows all about these square jeans can own them. <laughs> So, 
there you have it folks um that was about 50 bucks and i didn't really add up um what the total of that was but you can guess it was a pretty good amount this time and i'm looking forward to getting back to the seattle bins and um seeing what waits me there awaits me there anyway thank you for watching so much you guys and um please subscribe and share my videos to, with other like-minded people appreciate it a lot bye